Welcome to the <clears throat> December 14, 2016 Panda Board meeting. Uh, the first item on the agenda is the Treasurer's Report. Okay, you all have the Treasurer's Report there, and it shows the additional funding that we got from Red Hook and the shortfall from Red Hook Village. Um, this is just at the end of November, but we are there's only one more month of, of, of um, expenses that we can fit in. Um, there are a few areas like consulting and web and host web hosting that we've gone way over on, and so by the end of December, that one's going to be really big. Um, so already we're fourteen thousand under. Yeah, we're over budget, over, over by fourteen thousand yeah. dollars. Right. Because the, the first column is actual, as, we, as opposed to the budget, which is the second column. So in parentheses, it, it's a negative number. So we're, we're big time negative. And we have no money from Red Hook starting January 1st. They used up their money. Yeah, Red Hook Village, right. Red Hook but, Village. Right. But that, the 3600 that they did <coughs> give us is in this part. But there won't be any in 2017. Yeah, in 2017. But I, do, I can send invoices in January to the two towns, and those are the bigger amounts that come in. So what's our reserve then going to be? Oh, rats. I, that's why I wanted to do the mail, because I don't have the bank statement. The bank statement. You had the emails for those. Order of magnitude. Right. You sent them out. Yeah, so the most current bank statement. Oh, you the mean most the most current? current. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, November's bank statement. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> but. I just did checks yesterday, and it, uh, if I remember correctly, it's like 24000 that's in the bank. And, and as I say, we'll get our funds from the two towns in January. We have to figure out what we're going to be billing Rhinebeck for. Um, well, all this is uh, uh, dependent on what happens with the negotiations and discussions ongoing right now. Yeah. The town of Rhinebeck, I believe, said but they were willing to pay the $14,298 that they that's paid in the budget. past. Yeah. And that's in the budget. Yeah. So you can send those out and we will get both payments from the town of Red Hook and the town of Rhinebeck. Right and, and the hope is that we have an interim one-year agreement that takes care of these issues. Yeah. If uh, what we'll talk about can get settled yeah. in the upcoming weeks. Yeah. So um, everything under expenses for you know, staffing were over on a lot of things. We're, the only thing we're over on under operational expenses is the um, office supplies, and that's because of the, our survey. Right. Um, that costs and, money. Yeah, that costs money. And also um, the security system, because they're feeding it up a little bit. So, you know, we're still in okay shape there. We're in great shape for insurance because Bill Dowding has saved us. Yeah. Thank um, you, Bill. Yeah. And we still have a little bit left over in the Frost Grant. Um, so I think there was some something that you were planning to buy there. That's the old Frost Grant or the yes. new one? Old one. I'm waiting for the. That's 460. I I never bought the camera bag for the camera, which is going to be 200 bucks. Okay. Do it before the end of the year. I'll do it tomorrow. Okay. Love shopping. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> for sure, equipment at least. I don't like food <laughs> shopping or clothing shopping. And, and that um, that money should be December, or is it? Well, then we get the check. You know, they have to cut the check. Right? When they get when they call with the checks ready, I'll bring you the check. I did buy the computer. What? Did, <clears throat> did you already? Buy it for the new one. I didn't realize we were waiting. I bought the software and the computer already, and I realized we didn't have the check. Is, have the that, check yeah. is that this? Is that this? No, that was the uh, TriCaster replacement part. No, the computer is three thousand plus dollars. Oh. And the software was I got it on sale for a year, so it was thirty nine ninety nine. I just received a call from the post. They said they they approved it, and it will be a few weeks before they cut the checks. So I'm, no. I'm waiting to get the check. As I get it, I'll get it to Mary. Sorry, I didn't But we could cut, certainly cut equipment. Uh, uh, yeah, um, in 2017, we should zero out the equipment budget and, not, and say take that $5,000 out. So it's, you know. Which one are you talking about? You had money in equipment. Right, and you took it out of it. Purchasing or fixed gross grant? You had 47, 
fifty as a standard budget, oh, we right. could take that out, put that zero next year. Oh yeah. And, right. and that would right. cut down some expenses. Because right now, you know, we we're, we have a surplus on that line <clears throat> and repairs. But, yes. Um, so we'll, we'll just deal with that one. Okay, sorry. So anyway, um, we're a little bit better off at this point than I would have expected because according to our budget, we would have been spending eighty-two thousand. We've only spent seventy-four right now. So but we have one, one more month to go. And that's just payroll. Mm -hmm. No equipment. No anything else. Right. Except for what so we'll see what we. Put. Yeah. How we wind up. Okay. So the, the <coughs> January financial report will be as of the end of December. The final. Yeah. Okay. Do okay. so we have a motion to approve the treasurer's report? Uh, make a motion to approve the treasurer's report. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. The station manager's report. Um, since we had technical difficulties with last month's meeting, do you want me to cover the station manager's report again? from last month with all the information and the numbers to get them out there? Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, since our last meeting, uh, we've actually gotten 33 programs, um, not including um, the new video that David got me or the um, Tivoli Winterfest or the Red Hook Winterfest because they're still processing the burden. So uh, they'll go on next month's report. But. Um, we uh, have gotten a total of 366 programs since November 18 of 2015. Um, last year we got 364, so we actually ended up doing two more programs, minus all those Say Amen programs that we missed. Mm -hmm. Would have put us close to 400 programs this year, um, but they had technical issues too, so I got my first one today, very excited. Um, Oh, we're getting a lot of good feedback about the um, Historical Society videos, um, mostly Ryan Beck, but Red Hook did, was involved with the Racing Through History, which has been a big hit, um, and Light at the Center, but we've also been running the International International <laughs> Culinary Hour, the Solar Report, Building New York, um, submissions from other public access stations, Allen's um, Italy, a lot of local events, and uh, special meetings, planning board meetings, zoning board meetings, stuff like that from different municipalities. Um, we have some main, I have some main objectives for the uh, 2017 year, uh, looking into sources of alternate funding, possibly through sponsorships and website. Um, I'm getting some information on that to present to the board in January. Um, <coughs> Our current hours of operation here in the studio are Monday and Wednesday from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Although I did take a volunteer position at the uh, Rhinebeck Center for Performing Arts um, stage managing um, for Cat Hot Tin Roof. So Mondays and Wednesday, Mondays I'll have to leave at 6.30 until the end of um, February when the show finishes up. Um, and Thursday and Friday is 11 to 5. Um, equipment as of November 9th, 2016, equipment was checked out 65 times uh, for people to create their own programming. Um, Do those programs wind up on the uh, Oh yeah, yeah, I'm not allowed to, that's pretty much what they sign off on is if they're borrowing the equipment they have to give us a DVD. 65 times over what period? Uh, since um, November 18th of 2015, so almost a full year. But that's actually twice as much that we've had in years past. A, a lot more people are interacting with us. Um, we have Tivoli citizens, Rhinebeck citizens, and board members checking out the uh, equipment, um, including David, Mary Ann, uh, Mark, and Mark Durand um, have been doing stuff for us. Mary Ann helped me this past weekend, or the weekend before maybe, take the uh, Red Hook Village Winter Fest today. Oh, really? Yeah, and she did great work. I mean, it, it's surprised. really good. Very good. <laughs> yeah, what funny stuff was really cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I do those three events the Tivoli Winter Fest, the Rhinebeck Winter Fest, or excuse me, Red Hook Winter Fest, and the Santa Claus every year. So I've gotten used to the cold and I know to layer up and everything. Um, and I did center class, but we did a two camera shoot and had tons of hours of footage. So it's going to take me a while to put that together. Almost ended up with pneumonia being up there. Um, there are several volunteers using the editing stations in office. 
on a regular basis. Uh, not, not to mention, um, I have at least one intern a semester, and I've had two or three over the summer, usually I'll get three from the high school. Um, this was the first semester that I didn't have an intern, and it was horrible. So I definitely am going to, um, you guys had approved that I can spend that $25 to post the ad, so I'm going to post an ad for January. I didn't realize how much they actually helped out in the office until I didn't have one. Um, and our YouTube analytics, as of this same date, which would be November 9th, 2016, we had 125 subscribers to our channel. We had put up um, 681 videos. We had 59,044 views. And our website, pandatv23.org, in the month of October received 14,606 hits, which is why I think we have some justification to have sponsorships on our website, which our website is, there, as far as I know, and maybe somebody can help me look into this in the future, um, but I think we do have the capability to do something like that on our website, um, like a scrolling banner ad um, for Sponsors, local sponsors. Right, we we yeah. can do that. Yes. So I think that might help us cover that deficit and um, gap, uh, gap, gap. Um, but we would need somebody to sell it too, so that's something to keep in mind. Yeah. Um, the the person that I was thinking of that I would like to bring in to meet with the board um, is totally fine with working straight commission basis. Um, so I just want to get that out there. Yeah. Um, Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's the end of my station manager report. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we're going to have our drawing for. Yeah, I uh, just have one question for Dan. Right, then you you post these hours, right? On they're the, on the website. Okay. Yeah. If you go to the contact us tab, all of our hours are always posted. And if I have a doctor's appointment or I'm taking a day off, I always update the website to reflect that. I'll say, you know, please note on July 22nd through July 25th. I will be out of town. Um, that's usually when I have you covering, so I'll say somebody will be in office this hour to this hour on these two days or something like that. But I'm usually pretty thorough about that. So you do the corrections and stuff? Absolutely. Oh, so yeah. the bylaws say postponed or proposed. They say proposed bylaws. This came off the web. Is that a PDF? Yeah. It oh, is a PDF. Those, that's all that I, those are the most recent one I have. So if somebody wants to send me a... No, we think oh. those are the bylaws. It's just we need the word proposed to come off of it. Oh, sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just take it off the document and yeah. uh, swap it out. Yeah. Got you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I wasn't getting that. Yes. I thought we were talking about office hours, and then you're like, yeah. it says proposed. Well, I meant that. Wait. What? No, I meant because you were updating. Update. Yeah, that's one of my many hats. Yeah. And while, while we're on that, <clears> you can also update uh, the board information. On oh, the yes, absolutely. Means, Sorry about that. Um, yeah. Why don't we, why don't you mention that, or you mention that right now, what uh, Eric is now. Oh, so. But we're going to, we're going to vote. Um, uh, I have a lot of commitments that are tying me up, and uh, Eric has volunteered to uh, succeed me as chairman starting in 2017. So uh, we want to make that announcement. And uh, Eric is terrific. He has a lot of background in public access television, and I think he's going to be a great chair. Yeah. Isn't worse than what the else wants. It said, the bylaw said we have to vote. Yeah. Um, no, I'll I make a motion. Then, also, I just want to say, and Eric, I don't think everybody knows that Eric is also now the town of Rhinebeck representative. Yes. New, newly it's Bill, Bill Nieves. Bill Nieves has been, been with Panda almost since the beginning. Right. Has uh, retired from Panda, and Eric has taken his place. He's great appointed by the town team. board of Rhinebeck. And we welcome him as that, and Thanks. we welcome him as the chair. So, Chris made a motion. Yes, I made me to, to say too, thanking Bill Nevin yes. for, yes, for all those years. Of Thank you, Bill. Work. Yes. And, and working with the um, cable vision company for all those years too. And he still is. And, he still still is. and, and I don't, I, hopefully, Bill's not disappearing. I mean, he's just. He was, not, Friday yeah. night, he was, he shot me at the Ryan Club. There we go. So, so he's still he involved in volunteering and would be the. Be the alternate still, right? Saturday. No. Oh, no. no. Okay. Town, town of Rhinebeck is, says they are going to try to recruit a new. Oh, okay. All right. So if if anybody on the board knows somebody that they would like that to be that person, then all right. Yeah. Send it to the town of Rhinebeck. To yeah, to Elizabeth and Elaine. 
I make the motion that we appoint Eric as the chair of the Panda Board. I'll second that. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 You can say yes too. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's He's and that, that would be effect effective with Chan Warren. For the next meeting. For the next January 1st. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and yeah, you're just going to be the, the village. We also need to thank Yes, I'll be the village of Ryan Beck Brown. Yes. Okay. All right. And we need to thank you yes. for stepping in when you did, when the, the last chair felt that she you know, couldn't continue her commitment. And uh, you've really helped uh, move us forward in a lot of ways. Yeah. We're on our way to a new facility and a lot of good things. So. And yes, the most you. difficult year of all, yeah. I mean, other than maybe one, but really a very difficult year yes. to be chairman. Yep. So thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. So a lot of work, a lot of headaches. But we're moving on. We're still... <laughs> the Panda survey, <laughs> still which Judy forward. Merritt is working on, is yet, this is done and this has to be done. She's finished this, hopefully this weekend. That's the tally <coughs> technical pie chart. Um, and how to do those. But we have them here. So we have 140 of them. We have the iPad, which we promised everyone is a prize. We have the beautiful Mary Ann, who will stick her small hand, because I couldn't get it in the jar, pull out a number. Just one. Just one. Just one. And see, you can read the number, and I'll find the person. This is number 58. Ooh, I'm so excited. 56, I know. 56, 57. Ah, stuck together. Is that 58? Yes, 58 is Josette Lee of Rhinebeck. OK. And uh, we will we will find her. Does she give information? She has an email. Yes, her email address. Yeah. So, um, do you want to email her and meet up with her to bring her the iPad, or do you want to leave it in the station and have her come pick it up? And should we have her sign something that she received the prize? Yeah. Why don't you? Yeah. I'll leave the iPad here. You okay. want to contact her? Sure. So, I'll let um, her know that she won. No, 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 no. We can't, we can't. We, we had agreed in the uh, rules of the regulations that yeah. none of us or, or our relatives or any of the five municipal boards or any of their relatives, kids, whatever could be eligible. Could you check um, with Judy to see um, if we should have her sign something that she picked up? The yes, she said definitely. I asked oh, her. Okay. I asked her. Um, if right. she's got any wording or anything that she thinks would be. <clears throat> Best. I could type right. something up and send it <clears throat> out, or we can see if she has an idea of what to say. All right. Um, Just let me know what you want me to do. And announce it on the website. Oh, yeah, great idea. Okay. Let me put that down because I forget. Do you, have, you want to write this down? or? How long does she have to collect the prize? I don't know. We'll contact her. She'll come. All right. I, I think I know the name. It's usually like 30 days, yes. something like that. Here's her email address. Jay, um, that was what. Uh, yeah. So it's just your first name. Uh, got it. That's your name. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, it's her last yeah. name. Yeah. Cool. Um, yes, let me write that down. Write that down. So congratulations. Yes. So Danielle will write to you, and I will get a form. That's right. Yeah. I will have her mail that to you. Right. Hey, Sam. I don't know. We might have. I might blur that out. Okay. <laughs> this yeah. way she Sorry about get that. Emails. Yes. Congratulations and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so, hey, my, my, voice, my voice doesn't carry further. <laughs> I'll, I'll check for that. So check sure that. That, that, that doesn't a, get go over. Might be a bleep like they do on, <laughs> uh, on regular television. People <laughs> think cursed. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, all right. The progress on the Time Warner contract and equipment request. I know that Bill Nieves is still, even though he's left the board, is still in contact, putting pressure on Time Warner well, to try to come up with the equipment and have the equipment list. Well, well no, not exactly. Um, he, he did. I mean, Bill, Bill's been working hard for over a year on uh, communicating. And three years. Uh, three years. <laughs> well, actually, Pan has been working for yeah, at, least, years. at least ten eight years. years yeah. or ten years. That's who Crane right. has been. Yeah, no, and Pan and Kathy have, I mean, it goes way back. Yeah. But, um, uh, but at any rate, um, uh, an offer was made by the new Time Warner Company Spectrum, which was sent to Bill, 
which he forwarded on to us, uh, and which we then uh, presented to Bill O'Neill as our attorney, and uh, Robert McKeon uh, to represent for us. So uh, Eric here and I did meet with uh, Bill O'Neill and uh, Robert McKeon um, a little over a week ago, I guess, um, to talk about uh, uh, this new agreement and um, uh, what Panda would want from it. And the, it, but the agreement is with the municipalities, so it's really what uh, is between the municipalities and Spectrum. Um, but uh, it involves Panda as far as uh, a, a PEG public access station is concerned, which is part of that agreement, of that franchise agreement. So um, we met with them. We went around with the board in terms of what do we want. We put together uh, a list of seven asks. I have them here. You can review them at some point. Um, and uh, an equipment list. Um, and so uh, that will be uh, presented uh, by the municipalities um, uh, under the uh, leadership of Robert McKeon uh, and Bill O'Neill. At the same time, <coughs> I had met earlier with uh, Bill O'Neill uh, about a new municipal agreement. So we have both of these coming together, dovetailing at the same time. And uh, so there was a meeting this morning um, uh, between uh, the five municipal leaders. Uh, Bill was un unable to attend, he was supposed to be there, and uh, to discuss both of these things and to go over what PANDA's wants and asks are and for the municipal <coughs> leaders also to figure out what, what they want both from the new Spectrum Agreement and also the municipal agreement. So um, that uh, is going to be summarized in a uh, memo from uh, Robert McKeon tomorrow that hopefully we'll have as far as it went. They'll be resumed um, and we'll be updated on it. So I'm not going to go into any more details Good. on that point. It's in negotiation and the hope is that maybe something can be arranged uh, before the end of the year. Uh, <coughs> they'll do the, they'll do the best they can to have that happen. Uh, and then there's other things that we can discuss later, specifics about that if you like. And also there's this paper here if you want to look at it uh, with details. But, but that's the summary. Good. Okay. Well, I'll wait to, to hear on that. So um, is there any other old business or new business that people would like to talk about? I have a little old business that um, ties in with what Mark was just talking about. Um, I was, I was told that um, we needed to do a full inventory list yes. of everything that we have. I'm almost done. Mm -hmm. I'm just finishing up with the furniture in the back room. Everything else has been documented. Serial numbers, quantity. Excellent. Um, I wanted to ask you if you needed that for our insurance yeah. because Definitely. it has changed drastically yeah. since the last list that they've had from and, and one of these four years ago. policies that we pay for is cover studio. If something gets stolen or lost, right. or lost too. Like what if uh, um, somebody, borrows. somebody borrows a camera and loses it? Like the forms that they sign holds them personally responsible for it. Um, so if it's, I mean, if it's anything like a uh, homeowner's type policy, there's usually some in transit coverage. Some okay. sort, but that'd be good to know. Okay, so I'll try to get that out by the end of the week um, to everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good because well, that was one of the areas that Bill was able to save us money, but he probably has a old list. With two laptops that are probably worth 80 bucks a piece now, and mm -hmm. two yeah. cameras that are probably worth 150 bucks a piece now, and not. Uh, well, that's the other thing. Four so cameras at $2,500. Right. Yeah. Uh, um, Equipment was more expensive back then because this yeah. was before my time. I have that's true. Really right. that's true. Six that's years. True. Still, I think the value of our equipment has probably tripled since that list. Okay. And yeah, I guess that's it. I just wanted to let good, you know yeah, that good point. almost yeah. done. I'm so yeah, sorry. Good. And let us know because they also need that for the municipal agreement when they find out. Gotcha. Yeah. So, all of us on the PAN board would like to wish all of you and your families. A wonderful happy holiday and a happy new year and we will see you all with our new chair in 2017. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday everyone.